He been training with pros since he was 13. He has that it factor. I had a vision that I wanted to go on day one of the draft, so I tweeted it out there, and it's something that I wrote on my wall, and now we're here, getting ready to get drafted. This kid is always ready. Since preparing for the draft, I've been here in Houston, trying to get ready for the combine as best as possible. I, I train with the same trainer I've been training with growing up, Timothy Boutte. He's an elite trainer. He knew my body. He knows exactly the types of things that I need. He's someone I knew that was going to get the best out of me. You know, it was only right for me to stay in Houston and stay with the people I trust and go out there and get the job done. We're going to head out to Orange County in a, in a little bit to see the facilities, you know, chop it up with my agent. Can't wait to continue to get to work and, and get to the combine and show up. Five fifty a.m. About to work K nine up. Got to get it. Get this little work in. Little shakedown workout. Yo, so what? Straight. Ready to work. So I mean, this is typically how my day should get started. Wake up. Get some music in. Kind of just get my mind right before I head off to work. I mean, like to get up early. Early bird gets the worm. So get it cracking. Normally I work out two to three times a day, usually six days a week. I and mean, this really has been something that I consistently have been doing since I was in middle school. And I've been a guy that's just always been harping on just working hard and just trying to put myself in the best position to succeed. So for me, you know, when it comes to training, you know, we like to get it in, you know, two, three times a day, explosive work, weight training, different things like that. So uh, today is just gonna be kind of a light jog work, getting some type of lifting in, in the weight room, get some type of ab work and then uh, you know, a pool workout, different things like that. So just definitely trying to get the recovery and keep the body right. Today might be my off day, but you know, I still gotta get it in. You don't have to just sit down and you know, sleep all day. You know, I like doing just a lot of different things that I can do to, to help my body you know, recover faster. So I try to take advantage of that. I'm gonna take days off. Normally, working out my guys, I wouldn't train them this much like this in terms of three times a day, but you gotta cram so much in. Being that Ken was in the playoffs for the past three years of his college career, so he's never really had a break, except maybe two weeks at a time. Coming from Oklahoma, you know, we're always in the playoff race, always, you know, playing the extra. You don't really get any time off when you're playing that long into the season. So, you know, it's just the grind that you gotta love. And so, um, you know, it's, it's been good so far to just go through that, and I'm just looking forward to the next steps. In a few weeks, it's time to run at the combine. Gonna be ready to go. I look at it as a whole grind, not a half a grind. And taking care of my body is the other half that, that I take extremely, extremely seriously. I mean, it's led me to feel how I feel now, which is great. And I think that's just comes from just my dedication to just taking care of my body. Eight, nine, 10, good. Okay, ready to go. I, I train with the same trainer I've been training with growing up, Timothy Boutte. I mean, the benefits of just having my, my trainer to do my combine work is just, you know, for me, it was just having somebody that's, that's comfortable, that knows my body. You know, he's been there since I was eight, so he knows, you know, what I react to well and, and how I how respond to different things. And so um, it's been extremely, extremely good so far, you know, going throughout this draft process. We've been getting some really, really good work in. Bear hug, ready? Right? Go. Down. Hold. There you go. So we just finished the, the morning run, morning lift on one of this recovery day. So we just finna hit the pool right quick. So let's go ahead and get it. So the pool work today, we're just gonna do some basic stuff. Knee skips, high knees going forward, high knees going backwards. All the stuff that you would do on dry land, you do in the pool. Karaoke, high knee karaoke, backwards one leg jumps, so just to kind of work on his tendons and work on some isometric movement in the pool. It's real good for the tendons and the ligaments. Uh, pool work has been something I've been doing a lot, uh, especially since I got into college. I think the pool is definitely an extremely useful instrument to get some of that, that load off of the body and help the body recover while also training hard. Michael Phelps watch out for you? Oh, no, 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 no. He definitely got it when it comes, when it comes to that pool, for sure. Uh, you know, I'm definitely... Definitely far from Olympic swimmer. Yeah, so we just got done with the pool routine. Um, gonna head back and chill, shower up a little bit, get ready for breakfast. Time to get to the nutrition. Lord, we thank and bless you for this meal that we will receive as nourishment of our bodies. We thank you, Father, it will strengthen us for the journey. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. 
you know, got my fruits here, bananas, uh, some yogurt, a little granola, just, you know, kind of a yogurt parfait. And now I'm eating right. My recovery time is like really, really fast. So like, I could go do like a 30 inch incline run for like 20 seconds at like 15 miles per hour. And it's like, I'm good. Like recovery time is real fast. And going through our middle school and high school, you know, I pretty much ate what I want. But you know, once I did start eating right on a consistent basis, you know, I started to see my body being able to recover and just be able to, you know, think properly and process things a lot faster. We've been doing this since he was 13. He been training with pros since he was 13. And he been getting the best of them too. I'm not gonna say any names. I don't want nobody to look bad. I don't want nobody to keep me up. Tim, why you trying to make me look bad? But Kenny was a, was a puppy, 14 years old, finishing the workout, and my NFL pros, my NBA pros, tapping out, passing out, throwing up. I don't want nobody to give me up and open up the door, I get it myself. Facts. That's the approach. That's old school. Started out playing basketball, my brother Lynn, uh, was his coach. Guys would foul him and he would run down the court and hit him. And, uh, you know, so they said he had too much aggression. So he had to, that's how he ended up in football. My dad was a you know, phenomenal father, um, phenomenal man, and able to mold me and help me become the man I am today. We were excited to be, to be going down this process. Uh, as far as the NFL is concerned, we can't wait to see what team he lands at, and then we'll be traveling there. Just got done eating breakfast with the fellas, so. And to get it in. Let's go. The interview process is something that's extremely big and it's gonna be extremely big for me. So I'm a lot smarter than what you know a lot of people think I am. You know, I'm excited to, to just get on the board and talk and exit the nose. Alright, what you wanna know, baby? Let's go with basic A big part of the interview process when we get to the combine is is the exit and nose and um, especially for my position, you know, being a, a middle linebacker, they want to be able to see if I can diagnose defenses and diagnose offenses and be able to just think on, on the fly and, and see how well I understand different concepts. What you got for me, man? Talk me through it. Um, we have the nickel in the corner locked up, the cornerback over here locked up. We have the running, the, the rush over here, who basically has the running back. Mm -hmm. And then the mic, we're in there right here. We're going outside because the strong safety is going to be on number three. He's going to fit inside of his man. So his man's blocked. He's, he's, He's going to trigger. You know, going to watch this play, there's a bunch of different pieces that are moving around with outside linebackers, the safeties, the, the, the Mike linebacker and the wheel linebacker, different things like that. So just want to be able to show that I can know it all and know all 11 pieces on the field and go out there and be be the general of the defense. He's folded this way. Once he confirms that the Mike peels with that, then we have our rush come back over and be over the top. You know, once you really hone in on, on the knowledge of the game, hone in on, on the film study, you're able to put other guys in position to make huge plays. I think that's really one of the biggest things that I always is just trying to be for my team is, you know, the guy that's out there that's constantly talking, the guy that's out there that's constantly, you know, letting people know what's on my mind, what I think is coming. So that way we can all be on the same page and going out there and um, shutting the offense down. I mean, that, that was awesome. Your knowledge of <laughs> what you're doing is just, you know, beyond everybody else. It's great. We'll continue to like next week and go over some stuff and just keep it fresh in our heads. You know, my film study has led to a lot of the plays that, that coaches see on tape. It ultimately, just it, it goes back to, to the film study and the ability to be able to break things down to the simplest form. It could definitely be the difference between you know, what round you go in, you know, whether it's first, second, or even third, you know, or later rounds. Just finished up the board work. About to go out here and get some field work in. Time to get to work. Let's get it. He has that it factor from a mental standpoint, from a physical standpoint, and just he's very disciplined. He has the leadership quality. You know, he's been a starter since a freshman, not a redshirt freshman, true freshman, meaning this kid is always ready. Good. W, lateral, touch, 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 out. You got it. Good. 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 Back. Good. Touch, touch, touch. There it is. There it is. There it is. I mean, Kenny is my life's work. I want the best for him. I want him to do everything that he wants to do. So we're almost there, but not quite. I may be ranked one of the top guys as far as the linebacker position goes, but you know that all can change overnight. And so you know you just got to continue to grind and continue to keep your head down and go out there and try to put your best foot forward. The 40 is everything. The faster you run, the higher you get drafted. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> hey, hey. But AJ brings you by, by 30. Get it. Get it. Oh, get it.
your boys Aki after Jordan tell you. You trying to get Aki like me? I only wear overtime drip. That's why. That's why I'm Aki. And get Aki like me. Go click the link in the bio right now. You better cop out. Cop like five shirts. Because you need them for all week. And check out these videos right here and subscribe. <laughs> Stop playing with me.